Kathy Ketter. I'm the Dean of the School of Health Sciences and Professional Studies. I want to talk to you today about non-traditional programs. What is a non-traditional program? It is a program that has 25% or less of the same gender in that field. A good example would be men in nursing programs or secretarial sciences. In women, whether in computer information systems or welding, that's a non-traditional program. To understand why you would choose a non-traditional program, you need to understand the benefits. First benefit is the intrinsic benefit. You're doing a job you like and you're doing it well. Next, we have an impact on society. Being the first in the field opens the doors for others to follow. We got to talk about wages. For women, wages are typically higher in non-traditional fields. Example, you're a cashier, you make $8 an hour. If you're a welder, you can make an average of $18.50 per hour. For men, their career paths move faster in non-traditional fields. They're put in supervisory positions much faster than in traditional career paths. I do have a student here that would like to share her, her story with you about a non-traditional program. Emily Hale is in our welding program. And Emily, I want to ask you a few questions. Why did you choose a non-traditional program? I, first I did the electrical, which was my first experience with non-traditional programs. Um, and my dad's an electrician and I've always just loved working outside with him and working with my hands and being able to build something and say that I know how to do these non-traditional things. And a lot of my friends say, oh, that's, the, that's our friend Emily in the boy classes. <laughs> <laughs> But it's just, it's really rewarding to me to say that I can build things and work with my hands and a lot of my female friends can't say that. Well, you brought it up, being a girl in a boys class. What's your experience been like? It was pretty intimidating at first, but I knew if I let it scare me going to school with a bunch of guys that I had no business trying to get into this career field. But um, once I got into the classroom, I was really surprised that they were interested in why I was in there with them mm -hmm. and they were really helpful and asked me why and how I was liking it and mm -hmm. it just worked out. And what do you plan to do with your education? I plan on pursuing the electrical more than the welding, mm -hmm. but I plan to get my Georgia State electrical license and eventually become a partner with my father's business and work with him and then I'd like to get into the PLC in the more technical, my dad calls it not so old school electrical, <laughs> and um, maybe eventually have my own kind of business that he can't offer right now. Okay, well thank you. Emily has a great future in front of her, and if you need to know more about non-traditional careers here at Bainbridge State College, please check us out on our webpage at www.bainbridge.edu. Hi, now we're in our practical nursing lab, and I'm here with a graduate from the practical nursing program. This is Leslie Lang, and I want to ask Leslie a few questions. Leslie, why did you pick a non-traditional program? Well, I have my mother, she's a nurse, and um, I have an uncle who's a doctor, and a lot of my uh, cousins are nurses, and I was homeless for three years, so I got an opportunity to see how people live being homeless, and it made me compassionate, and I said I want to do something to, to help. And I feel nursing was it. Okay, wonderful. Next thing I want to know is how was it to be a student in a non-traditional program? Oh, I loved it. I, lo I loved my, my professors were really nice. Um, and I got a chance to get to work with people who were younger than me and didn't quite have that, that mm yet. And still were playing <laughs> around, so I had to kind of, I want to say instruct them, let them know, don't give up. If this is what you want, go for it. But be compassionate about it. Don't do it for the money. Do it because you want to help people. Okay. Now you're working in the field. How is it working in a non-traditional field? 
I have so much fun every day. You know, when I walk into uh, Bainbridge Healthcare, the residents are sitting at the door, and the first thing is when I walk in, hey, Les, hey, Les, and that <laughs> makes me feel really good. And, and I just love going to work. I would sometimes rather be at work than to be at home. Do you have any final words for students thinking about a non-traditional career? If Make sure it's something that you really want to do. You know, it, it's not always about, especially nursing, it's not always about the money. You, you're helping people, and to me that's really imperative. You got to have a heart for it. So if you're going to do it, be sincere about it. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Choosing a non-traditional career is a hard decision. Any career decision is hard. When you're thinking about this non-traditional career, do your research. Make sure you find the information you need. Remember, skills have no gender requirement. They're the same whether you're male or female in any career you choose. Here at Bainbridge State College, we offer a lot of programs in non-traditional areas. We have nursing, allied health, and technical areas. Again, if you're interested, check us out on our webpage at www.bainbridge.edu. Thank you.